Hello, welcome to the first session on comparing quantities. This comparing quantities includes uh, quite, you know, a few um, topics, subtopics. You say the first one we are taking is kind of ratio and uh, percentage. That will also include like compound interest, the VAT, um, which are mostly on percentage. So I come as a whole, I told you that uh, I'll be taking ratio and percentage that will also take care of this profit and loss discount everything so my topic I'm writing down will be ratio and percentage like if it is ratio and percentage the first few simple questions I'll be uh, taking up is the one which you might have learned in the previous uh, classes the first one is to express a given fraction into percentages supposedly there is uh, one example I can take up is like uh, 9 by 25. This is in fraction and we have to convert this into percentage. To do so, to convert any fraction into percentage, simply multiply it by 100 because percent you must have learned in the previous class means a cent that is 100. Now 25, 4, so 4 into 9 is 36. So 9 by 25 multiplied to 100 gives us 26, right? And this is how you convert a fraction into percentage. This was the first one. Now when a percent in decimal form, that means suppose I'm asked to convert a 65% into decimal. So convert this into fraction, writing 65 by 100. And then when you divide 65 by 100, that makes it 0 0.65, right? This is, I mean, these are very simple questions, uh, you can say. Then comes your um, ratios, maybe. Like 52% to be converted into ratio. So it becomes 52 by 100 that's like um, if I reduce it to the lowest term I get um, 413 and then 254 so in the it is 13 is to 25 so herein we saw a fraction into percentage a percentage into decimal Again, a percentage that is supposed given by 52% into conversion into ratio. Then comes finding percentage of a given number. Like, um, suppose 12% of some number, some 1200, 1300 or whatever, but I am taking 1200. So it is once you have 12 percent, first convert or represent it in fraction. That is 12 by 100. And multiplied off is multiplied to 1200. That is, this two zero got cancelled. So 12, 12 is 144. So 12 percent of 1200 is 12 by 100 into 1200 and then gives 144. Now this the same question can be reversed like I put up this is a reverse calculation you may say it says if 23% of a certain number is 46 find the number that means what I'll just write it in and very simple way what is informed to us that is 23 person that is 23 by 100 of a certain number which I take as A is given to be 46 so we have to find A so A will be 46 into 100 across multiplied by 23 now 23 2 is 46 so 23 percent of 200 is 46 this was one of the very simple questions I'm taking a few more word problems on uh, these um, on the topics which I've already covered up
first one I write up here if Chameli had rupees 600 left after spending 75% of her money sorry spell mistake of her money how much did she have in the beginning just kindly ignore you know any kind of spell mistake because these are all typo errors Now that means 75% of her money she has already spent. Now let the number, let the amount of money which she had in the beginning to be X. She has already spent 75%. Now what must be left over then if she has spent 75% then 25% must be left over. Right, so the leftover money that is 25% of what she had is 600. So we can always use again the same cross multiplication way of finding out what is x. We got 2400, right. So she had 2400 this is one way of doing it maybe say you also can find out uh, this x minus somebody has done 75 by 100 x that will again give you 25 by 100 because a complete whole thing is 100 percent out of it 75 is already spent so you are left with a 25 percent so this 25 percent is equal to the uh, 600 which is left i hope you are following the questions well we go into another screen and take a few more word problems. I write one here. Kishan spends 30% of his salary on food and donates 3% of his salary in a temple. In a particular month, he Spends rupees two thirty one on these two items. What is his total salary for this month? Now we see the total amount he has spent in value is rupees 231. He spends 30% and 3% of his salary in a temple. That means he spends 33% of his salary. So total spent is 30% plus Three person that makes it 33 persons he spends 33 person on these two items that if we are taking let the total salary of the month given to be rupees X now out of these rupees X he has spent 33 percent which is equal to 231 so 33 percent of X is 231 so if we calculate x it becomes 
231 multiplied to x see they, you might come across solutions where in the total uh, salary or anything in total as we are taking to be x has been taken as 100 so that's another way of solving it more more often it is um, i suggest if you take x that becomes very easy for you to you know quickly solve them so now it is cross multiplying and finding x becomes 231 into 100 divided by 33 i need to check if uh, this is getting cancelled i think 33 into 7 is 231 so the whole salary for the month was 700 and he spent 231 which is 33 percent of his salary on these two given items let's take up another question and write it down It says Anushri has to pay 4% sales tax. Hope you know what is sales tax. This is given on some articles you purchase and is added to the cost of the article. In And, uh, and that, I mean, after adding the sales tax, you give the final price of certain article. Now, Anushri has to pay this 4% sales tax um, in addition to the price in addition to the price of a certain article find the price of her article if she pays the rupees 2.60 in all That means the cost of the article was some supposedly x. Let the cost of the article before sales tax be x. I write let the cost of the article before I am writing sales tax as st be rupees x. Now on this x, a fourth percent of sales tax be charged because it says sales tax is 4% of rupees x. So that is 4 by 100 x. After adding sales tax to it, they are paying 260, sorry 2.60 for the article. So cost of the article plus sales tax makes the final cost of the article to be 2.60. Let us solve this equation to find the value of x. Since if I take the LCM it is 100 so that makes it 100x plus 4x that makes it 2.60. So it's 100 plus x makes it 104x is equal to 2.60 in 200 so x becomes 2.60 in 200 in 260 and divided by 104 so i think i am getting here as 2.50 So the cost of the article which was sold as 2.50 is actually 2.50 and when added the sales tax of 4% it became 2.60. This is how you know the sales tax is calculated. Let us move on to another screen and take up one more question. I write the one here. says Rakesh's income is 25% more than that of Rohan. What percent is Rohan's income less than Rakesh's income? 
Now, Rakesh's income is given in terms of Rohan's, right? So, we will take Rohan's income to be x. Let Rohan's income to be rupees x. So, Rakesh's income Rakesh's income becomes 25 percent more than Rak, uh, Rohan. So, it is x plus 25 percent of x, right? So, Rakesh's income becomes x plus 25 by 100 x. So, it is 125 by 100 x, right? Now, this is Rohan's salary. This becomes Rahan, salary, sorry, income. And this becomes Rakesh's salary. Now, we have to find what percent is Rohan's income less. So, <coughs> let us find the Rohan's, how much is Rohan's income less than Rakesh's income? That is in percentage. So, but let us find the reduction at first. So, this minus x because we had taken it so let us find out first the value of reduction so it is 125 x minus 100 x by again 100 so that's giving me 25 by 100 25 by 100 x so it is 1 by 4 x right so, this is 1 by 4x by 125 by 100. So, I'll just write. Again, 125 by 100x makes it. Hmm, I think I made some mistake somewhere. Right? Uh, let me just rectify that. Once I have to rectify let me raise this part see the reduction we have already got to be 1 by 4 x we have to take find this as a percentage of Rakesh's income so it's 1 by 4 x by we take original so that gives us sorry 25 125 by 100 was Rakesh's income when to convert into percentage we have to multiply 100 to it let me solve this. See x getting cancelled. I'm having 1 by 4. Let me reciprocate the denominator. That makes it. So it's 125. And then there is 100 again. This is giving me 25. 25, 5 is 125. And this is 20. Okay, so I'm getting 20%. So Rohan's income is 20% less than Rakesh's income whereas Rakesh's income is 25% more than Rohan's income. We'll take few more percentage questions that might involve you know per, um, uh, this cost price, selling price, VAT and all in the next few sessions. Thank you.